fun. And what I have found satisfying is I would say when I look at my patient, I always remember the cases where I feel like I haven't been able to do enough, but I'd say at least 70, 80% of my patients I can make better by changing up medications, by putting them on the right medication, and, and that's the whole reason we do our job is actually curing <laughs> patients from seizures impacting their life. I can't cure epilepsy with medications, but I can definitely make their lives improved where they can have jobs, they can drive, they can get married, they can move away from home where they've had to live home when they've been uh, stuck with refractory seizures. As an adult epileptologist, it's for patients to understand that they're gonna need to be on medication. So when I get a patient referred to me that's either just had their first seizure or they need to be on medications, I want them to understand it's lifelong and what we need to do is find a medication. They don't need to live with side effects. That's one of the advantages of our great medications. We have up to like I think 25 drugs now, different epilepsy drugs that people can be on. And to say one works any better than the other is not the case. A lot of it is what's the tolerability. When we're looking at phase one, we're admitting someone into our epilepsy monitoring unit for a very specific purpose, and that is to capture seizures to see where those seizures localize to. So it's a little different than all the other reasons we admit people to the monitoring unit. So what I think patients need to expect is we really want to see several seizures and not seizure clusters, we want to see separate discrete seizures. I think people need to realize is epilepsy is very treatable. Ep people with epilepsy ha can have and should have normal lives and they shouldn't settle for anything less.